Hey, what's happening, folks? Uh, Matthew Bellman and Ryan Kostrowski here. This is the DFS 5-Pack. Uh, we did a nice about half-hour video this morning breaking down the early slate. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoy that. Uh, just a reiteration on Saturdays, the way things work on Saturdays and Sundays, and it'll work this way throughout the season. On Saturdays, we cover the night information. On Sundays, we cover the day. We did this one because it was heavy um, on the day slate, and it's just because it's the first one, and we just want to talk about it. And that all being said, let's get into... The night slate. Get it. Uh, before we do that, guys, uh, don't forget to go over and join the overlay contest. They got day slates. They got night slates. We probably won't get to the videos today, but uh, more than about half of the days, we will be kind of breaking down what our thoughts and opinions are in some of these slates. Uh, get in there. Right now, they got these bonuses. If you beat this guy named King Hap, uh, again, I've done that two out of three times. And so while it's not life-altering money, nothing wrong with getting du you know doubling your money just by beating somebody else. Uh, they will continue to be the show partner, and we will talk about them every single day and continue to help this website grow. So uh, my favorite thing is you don't have to spend as much time on this one. So like on days that you're busy, like I know you love to make multiple lineups, but some days you don't have time for this. This gets you skin in the game, uh, allows you to have that action without having to spending hours building lineups. For shizzle. Give me one second. Let's try this. All right, guys. Don't forget, uh, I'm sure we're all happy to have sports back. I want to say welcome back to all the customers that have come back over the last couple of days. Love seeing you guys back in the mix. Let's get back up to normal. The website link is below. Go sign up to be a member. We would love to have you. We got baseball flowing right now, and we will get NBA back shortly. We will cover the NBA playoffs like we have in the past. Um, pricing is all up there. We got the MLB only up there. Otherwise, I think monthly and lifetime would be the best way to go for anybody that it's applicable. Subscribe if you're new to the station or coming back to it. Thumbs up is always appreciated. Uh, you gave me a couple of pitching options to go through. I don't know, dude. Like, How do you not give a really hard look to Luis Castillo at only 8K versus a very bad Tigers team? It's impossible not to take a look at him. I mean, just lock him in and move on. I, I like Clevenger also. Surprise, surprise. There's only four games on this slate. Castillo is just a easy peasy lemon squeezy play on the slate. I mean, yeah. I don't know how he's not your SP2, right? Yeah, agreed. Uh, I would say the other thing is it's kind of funny how on the early slate there weren't a lot of good pitchers and it was almost three times as big, but the second slate has better pitching, even though it's only about a third of the games. Sometimes that works out like that. You know, not a lot, but it does. Uh, also, Castillo pitches in Cincinnati, which is definitely hitter friendly. But through the early portion of his career, he's actually been better at home. So uh, I'm usually less likely to throw a pitcher in Cincy because it's a joke of a place to hit home runs. Uh, but this guy has managed to succeed very well early on in his career at home. Yes, he has. All right. So you wanted to talk about this guy, uh, Shogo. Uh, what are you thinking, man? Is it just that he's 2K? Because that seems a little cheap to me. Yeah, we've got a couple guys. One guy like this on the uh, early slate and another uh, Japanese guy on the late slate. And, I mean, at 2K, like, these guys are far from scrubs. They came over for a reason. They were sought after. I mean, I don't, ex I don't know if Shogo is going to be an everyday player, meaning he's going to play all 60 games. But I expect him to be a regular. I know that Cincinnati's got a lot of guys I want to get playing time to. He looked solid batting six yesterday. I mean, as easy as a play as Castillo is, Shogo's just as easy. Yeah, since he dropped their lineup already, uh, he's batting six today. Yesterday he came in, he pinch it for Philip Irvin on top of that lineup to kind of talk about what you were bringing up. Or since he's got a lot of positional players that they want to give a run to, um, we're going to watch that and see how it goes. I, I mean – I'm not going to sit here and tell you who he's going to get pinch hit for. He's 2K batting six in a good offense against one of the only weaker pitchers on the slate, right? Like, this is a tough one to get away from, in my opinion. Same. So, um, glad you pointed that out. I might have missed him down there that low, but he is ready to rock. All right, next up. So, do you expect Cesar Hernandez to be leading off for your Indians again today against right-handed pitching? I do. I do, too. Uh, this is another guy I was looking at. Kind of the... Uh, uh, Tagging machine, if you will. Right. So there's a lot of good pitchers going today. 
You know, you already mentioned a couple of them. Uh, clearly, the, the pitchers in the Nationals uh, Yankees game are also of high quality. This kid for Kansas City starting today appears to be a, a respected prospect that they like. That being said, he ain't James Paxton, right? He ain't Steven Strasburg. This is his first time getting out there. Give me a sub 4K leadoff guy playing second base for an above average offense in the Cleveland Indians. This is uh, one of the easier guys for me that just kind of jumped out. There aren't a lot of crush spots today, and I don't think this kid's a scrub for Kansas City, but uh, I'll, I'll definitely give Steven Strasburg and you know Paxton and Clevenger significantly more respect. Definitely hard not to take a long look at the Indians' offense today. Busted a, a yesterday. Duffy was good. He wasn't great, but he was good. The Indians scra- scrapped a couple runs together. You could tell they were just a little over-anxious. I'm not going to be surprised if they actually go nuts here. And Duffy can be good. He's yeah. an enigma, right? Like when Duffy's on, he is tough to hit. Now, he's not on every day, clearly, but, you know, no shame to the Indians because when Duffy wants to, or not wants to, has his stuff on those days, he is all star caliber type of pitching. He just doesn't have it consistently enough to be that type of guy. Uh, I'm with you on this one. Uh, I like your Indians today. There are not a lot of offenses to really be super excited about, uh, but this is going to be one of them that's of uh, a higher likelihood to succeed. Really comes down to like the, the two Ohio teams, the Indians and Reds, right? More than anything, I would agree with you wholeheartedly on that one, my friend. So uh, I like Cesar Hernandez too. I think he's a solid addition to your team. I like him more than I like Jason Kipnis at this point of their career. Oh, he's yeah. a little bit of an underrated player. Yeah, I like him too. Agreed. All right, next up, you want to talk about the Moose? The Moose was clearly loose yesterday. I know you're a fan. What's not to like? I think this is a, a guy Milwaukee should not have let go. I don't understand why teams have been hesitant to pay him big money. He's just what I like to call a professional hitter. He's good. He's in a good spot at home against Nova. Now he's even in a better ballpark than he's ever been. I'm a Moustakis fan, and I like him quite a bit here for a Reds offense that, I mean, how do you not like the Reds here against Nova with the other pitching options you talked about? I think Milwaukee wanted to keep him. I think they were hesitant to give him money because they gave Christian Yelich everything that they could afford to keep him, and that's why you had to see him move on from a lot of guys. Uh, now they made some decent moves to fill them in, but you know, it's hard to replace Moustakas. He's just better than everything that they got. I think Kansas city should have kept him. I know that like, he's not a Mike Trout type player, like his franchise superstar, but he's not getting that type of money either. Like, I think he's the type of guy that I just think he's good and underrated. He also gets hit at good times. You know, there's guys who put up numbers, and he does, but there's guys who put up numbers when it matters, and he's a guy who gets you a big hit when you need it. Yes, sir. He could easily hit 40 home runs this year in Cincinnati. Well, not 40, the equivalent of 40 over 60 games. Mm-hmm. I'm going to make that mistake a lot this year, guys, so just bear with me. Mm-hmm. All right, so last up, I want to try to get off the beaten path a little bit. You mentioned both of the Ohio teams. They're kind of the low-hanging fruit. I want to talk about a guy in Giancarlo Stanton uh, that I think you have some reasons to kind of look at him as a one-off today. One, he's sub-5K with monster upside. Uh, you know, right up there with the Trouts and the Bellingers of the world. Uh, Stanton may not be as good as those guys, but when it comes to who's got two dong upside in any given game, Stanton, while healthy, especially when he's rolling, is right up there. He had a very encouraging spring, and then he absolutely, uh, oh, what's the best word to look at it, destroyed Max Scherzer with the longest home run that Scherzer has given up in the StatCast era. So he's looking good to start the season. He's probably very comfortable in the Nationals Park, knowing that he played a lot of games there while he was with the Marlins. Uh, and he's actually given Strasburg fits early on in his career. In 48 career registered at bats, he has 11 extra base hits, only a 300 average. Uh, Steven Strasburg doesn't have a ton of guys who have numbers like that against him because he's very, very good. Am I going to stack the Yankees against Strasburg? Of course not. But this is the kind of play for me that if you go stack Indians or Reds, like one off of Stanton, he hits a home run and a double or double dongs. That could be the kind of one off that separates you from the crowd. I'm with you, man. Uh, I like this call a lot. You know, I'm a huge fan, man. He looked real good the other night. Absolutely tattooed that ball off Scherzer. And like you said, he's got good numbers off of Strasburg. We're not we're not using him because of those numbers, but he's really good. He looks good right now, and he also has good numbers off Strasburg. Sign me up. Right, and it's a big sample size too, guys. I mean, we've talked about where you want to look at Major League Baseball players, hitters and pitchers. Uh, you need a sample size to put any kind of, you know, what's the best way to look at it? 
any kind of credence into it. He's got like almost 60 career plate appearances against them and 48 registered at bats. He's you know got 11 extra base hits off of him. These guys know each other. Uh, and it would be another thing on the flip side of it. I know Stanton's hot right now, but if I looked at Strasburg and he was 450 off of him, I just wouldn't be that interested. I would not expect Stan to have these type of numbers against Strasburg either. No, this is uh, to me, this is the kind of thing like he gets up for this matchup, right? A couple of really good players. Uh, and also, if, St- if Stanton looked off right now, I would have no interest even with good numbers in using him because we know Stanton is streaky. 100%. So uh, that's the thoughts on this one, guys. Uh, I actually prefer this four-game slate over the early one just overall. Uh, I wish I was going to be around to play it, but I actually got some plans tonight. Cool. So good luck to everybody today. Thumbs up is always appreciated, guys. We are around this afternoon. Sign up to be a member. Uh, Matt's going to bounce out this right up here uh, in a couple hours, so it'll be out for you guys. Good luck in the day slate. Good luck in the night slate. Go play on Overlay and have a great day. Thanks, guys.